Hey, Mr. Charlie. Hey, you in? Thank you. Seniors living into their 90s sometimes dip into the fountain of youth. At my age, I don't get in much trouble anyway. <laughs> Charlie Glover prefers reaching into his bucket. Oh, it satisfies me a lot uh, because I have so much spare time here. The man from Henrico settles into his favorite spot. But every day, when the weather's pretty. With plenty of reading material. I like the southern living. <laughs> the grandfather is the talk of Verena at Glen Assisted Living. Everybody has commented on, on it, and they call me the paper man. <laughs> Charlie snips, folds, and connects. Like I told you, I've got a piece 300 feet long. With surgeon-like precision. Can't afford to sit and do nothing. It bothers me. I have to do something to keep busy. This Monet of magazines is rediscovering a childhood pastime. It was real rewarding because it, I was just so glad that I remembered how to do it. A hobby he learned from mom in his native Nelson County during the Great Depression. I don't have idle hands. The 92-year-old's paper chains rarely gather dust. Sometimes I work three or four hours a day for weeks. Especially. This is a ghost that I put up for Halloween. Around the holidays. I wrap them, make them look like Christmas presents. We don't know where all the magazines come from. Executive Director Ashley Duggar says the retired electrician still sends a charge through the retirement home. Every single day, if the weather is cooperating, people will come in and say, yeah, Charlie's out there folding his papers. What's he creating today? But Charlie's most prized decoration? I made a lot of things, but this is the best. Oh, say, you can see all year long. Looks like it's just waving in the wind. A nearly three foot by six foot behemoth. Just makes me proud because I think so much of my country. A labor of love for this World War II veteran. I went in when I was 18. Who worked for General Dwight D. Eisenhower. It just almost brings tears to my eyes. After four months of folding, Charlie donated his masterpiece for all to enjoy. I can't even put a value on that. It's it's so remarkable that we have this gift in our in our community. When most people walk by and see me, they say, what are you making now? And I have no idea, really. Worsening arthritis may be slowing him down. <sighs> I'd take a break. But Charlie says he will never let go. That's where I normally keep my bucket. Of linking to the past. I don't know what I would do with all my spare time. Everybody wants to know what I'm making and uh, once they see it, they, they can't believe it. Appearances can be deceiving, but if you scratch beneath the surface, you'll find something unique about every person you meet. All you have to do is ask. I have a story, Friday at 11.